Hello, everyone. Welcome to NYY News with Ruben. I just wanted to go ahead and address uh, some a topic that was pretty um, prevalent today in Twitter. We had Andy Martino come out and say basically that Volpe and Peraza are seems to be off the off the table for Olsen. It's interesting to see that that is the take that Cashman has regarding that. I mean, Volpe is not surprising, but the Peraza aspect of it. Could it be that we're underrating Peraza, or could it be that that's just him playing hardball? Now, the funny part is he didn't mention Dominguez. So it makes me wonder, like, would Dominguez be available in a package for an Olsen, or will they go ahead and just give up uh, Peraza or... This is just speculation on my end. Could they give a, a Alexander Vargas as a shortstop? He, he's very toolsy. Was um has a high value grade uh, on the websites in terms of like a potential prospect and everything. And so like and and, and the Yankees have a boatload of top talent that they've been signing the last few years, and uh, Vargas was one of them. So I really could see that Vargas could be moved. Uh, for an Olsen. But at the end of the day, my, my suggestion is for Cash, get it done. We need a first baseman. We don't have a clear-cut first baseman that we can truly say he can be in the club for years and and be part of that middle of the order. And we need a gold glover. So go for Olsen. He's a younger one. He, he has a more offensive upside out of all of them at the current moment. And this is a guy... You know, I've gone over the numbers before. The guy hit 270, 270, 271 this past year with 39 home runs. And for the majority of the season, he was hitting 298 or, or so. So he got a little bit of a slump towards the end. Cut his strikeout rate by almost half. Went down to, uh, from 31.4 to 16.8 uh, strikeout percentage. He His swing is made for Yankee Stadium. He makes contact. Um, I can see this guy... Uh, kill it in the AL East when it comes to being able to hit for average and and just hit con- and with runners in scoring position. Because at the end of the day, that's what we need. We don't need another Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo, if anything, Joey Gallo should be striving to be a Matt Olson in that aspect. Make more contact, hit with runners in scoring position, not just bunting to them um, when they give you a third base open so you can just move them one base. So at the end of the day, um, Cash needs to just make sure he gets Olsen. And when it comes to shortstop, I'm not opposed to the idea of having a, a, a rookie like Peraza start at shortstop. But if you're going to do that, you better be right and you better have Olsen. At this point, could it... If Cashman pulls off a trade for Olsen and doesn't give up his top three, major props. Major props. But at this moment, I I really believe the way we should go, get a career or a story. I think story is more likely because of the contract. Um, I'm not, I don't buy that, that Hal is going to really spend $300 million. He can. He can afford it. But I don't think he will. He should. We need a leader in that clubhouse that's a little bit more, a little rougher around the edges that kind of pushes people's buttons. So I definitely believe that Correa, Story needs to be the shortstops. Either one, put Olsen at first base, have DJ up in second, um, and Gio at third. I would trade. Uh, Torres for a top line pitching, maybe uh, revisit a Luis Castillo deal, but at the same time, um, I wouldn't be upset with DJ at third and having and Glaber at second, it just wouldn't be the optimal defensive lineup. Uh, it's just it's a weird combination, like it's someone someone is gonna be left out where there's Gio Urshela. Or Glaber Torres. Someone's going to either be benched or traded. I don't see DJ being traded. 
And also, it would be interesting to see DJ with uh, Trevor Story up the middle like they did in, in Colorado. One of the best defenses that they, they had over there with Nor Nolan Arenado at third. Obviously, we don't have that at third base, but it would be a great defense up the middle. M majorly improved um, infield defense at that with a gold glover at first base, second base, and a potential gold glover at shortstop. Because Trevor Story has finished in the tops in in Gold Gloves in the past, so I definitely believe that this is the route that Cash needs to go. Now the question is, will it take Peraza or not? All I gotta say is, if it takes Peraza, do it. Don't let somebody outbid you just because you held on to Peraza. That's all I gotta say. Um. And at the end, at the end of the day, and if and if if Cash is that adamant about keeping Peraza, man, you better be freaking right, Cash. That's all I gotta say. You better be right about Peraza. You better be right. That's all I gotta say there. You better be right. But at the end of the day, even if you're right about Peraza, you still gotta get Olson. You still gotta get Olson. I, I, I wouldn't mind a Rizzo back. I think he could potentially uh, rewind the clock in a sense, and 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 you know come in motivated and, and focused to and, and get back to 2019 levels where he's hit, hit 290, 400 on base, 500 slugging. There is potential for that. Could be a great deal, to be honest. You know, if if it's a short term three year deal, 15, 16 mil a year, at for that kind of production, amazing. But. You still gotta go for Olsen, bro. <laughs> that's the that's the target. And then a shortstop, I would go with a sure thing. We need to win now as well. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Follow us, subscribe to the channel, and and when White News is going to the top when it comes to Yankee contact uh, content. So let me know what's going on. What are you guys' opinions? I already think Olsen is the guy to uh, to go to the Yankees. Go Yanks.